In October 1989, 43 women around the world gave birth. None of these women had been pregnant when the day first began. How much do you want for it? We'll start off pretty simply. I'm, I'm Steve, I'm curious what drew you to at Gerard's work initially, and then Gerard, flip side, what kind of convinced you that Steve was the right person to tackle? Good question. Um, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know the graphic novel when I first started, but when I read it, I loved, I loved the family. I fell in love with the characters, and um, I, you know, I said this a few times, but I really love, in my mind, I saw the show as a dysfunctional family show with a body count. I, I saw all the fun, the family, but that much more. But you know, truly, to me, it was is telling a story about this family. Everything else is great, but the core, the relatable human stories, I thought I loved right from the beginning, mm -hmm. and that's why I was I was drawn to this. Yeah, and then and then in meeting Steve, I I saw in him somebody that had a really distinct vision and was going to do something different with the source material, and I actually welcome that. You mm -hmm. know, um, as being somebody that created the comic with Gabrielle, like it was just uh, important that it changed somehow or have its own life as a television show as opposed to just being like the comic. On that note, was there any, ever any apprehension over, I guess, kind of giving some of the control to someone else since this was like a very close personal project for you? You know, I don't think there was ever apprehension about giving mm -hmm. up that control because I'm able to separate something like the comic and like a show and to realize this book will always be this book and nothing will ever change mm -hmm. that. And I've yeah. really strongly always felt like that about the Umbrella Academy. Yeah, I've been asking everyone because I love the needle drop like action set pieces in the show. They're very, very fun. So I was been asking everyone if they have like one specific song that's like, what's your ass kicking song? What's your song that you want to put on when you're like getting yourself really amped up about something? The one, the one that's not in the show <laughs> yeah, already. Yeah, right. Oh, that's such a good question. <laughs> I'd love to work in a Bob Dylan song somehow. I didn't do it this year, but a great Bob Dylan song would be my one mm -hmm. I'd put in. Um, probably I Am The Fly by Wire. If I was so getting ready one. to go out. <laughs> yeah. Season two, right? Season two. <laughs> I, you um, know I would want that. <laughs> what was it like kind of assembling this cast together? They do have such great chemistry. I mean, did they have to do scene reads together to figure out if they would all work as this family unit? Or? Yeah, I mean, some did. We did. We wanted to see how they worked together. But really, you know, I had a really good sense early on who I wanted. And I talked to Gerard. We, we both loved Ellen Page. And we wanted her. I'd already known Tom mm -hmm. Hopper and Robert Sheehan. I was getting people like Mary J. Blige and Amy River Lamb it was just great, we just met great people and we really met them and said, okay, that is totally Allison and that's, you know, that's totally, you know, Hazler Cha-Cha. And then together they just were, had a wonderful chemistry on and off the set. So that family you feel, I feel like felt that when even the cameras weren't rolling, which mm -hmm. is wonderful. They immediately all had this energy all their own that they brought to these characters. So it was very easy to believe them as those characters, mm -hmm. you know. I have adopted six children. Gifted with abilities far beyond the ordinary. I give you the Umbrella Academy. <laughs>